My name is Hannah Cormier. I'm a senior, uh, fifth year, um, and I am from Wakefield, Michigan, which is in the UP. So today we're gonna be making um, a test batch of fake blood. We're trying to find the best kind of recipe for our purposes. Um, Northern's like close to where I'm from, but like just far enough away where it was like, okay, um, I'm gonna get away from my hometown and like experience a bigger city. Didn't start getting involved with theater until my third semester here actually. Um, and I just like came in here and everybody was so welcoming and like I was just like drawn to it and it was fun. And um, here we are today. <laughs> the thing with props is that it's never the same. Um, and you're always like trying to find new things and like there's always something more to learn. Whether it's like a different technique or like where to get something, how to build something. Since we are like a smaller university, as like an undergrad you do get more opportunities to like be at the forefront of like putting on these shows and like doing the production work. David Pierce actually approached me and was like, hey, so we're thinking about doing Sweeney Todd, like I know you need a capstone project, how would you feel about doing props um, as your capstone? for Sweeney Todd and I was like so excited because this is one of my favorite shows like because like of the relationship that you build with these people um, he knew that I would be interested in it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna test the apparatus um, which when it is used in the production um, it'll be worn underneath their main costume um, with this belt and then this section of tube with holes punched in it um, will be like taped to their neck area here. Um, and then the blood comes from inside of this syringe, which is like for meat um, marinade is what it's for. And then you squeeze it when he slits their throats and it has this amazing effect. So we're just gonna test it out right now. Okay, so this is called um, molding and casting. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is take whatever it is that you wanted to make your duplicate of and then make a like a clay bed for it to lay in. So after you take it out of the mold, which is like this one here, um, it gets painted and we're using um, an automotive paint, which is just like a spray paint that comes in a can, but it's like very um, pigmented and Wonderful for our purposes. Uh, we do a cutout of the Mylar sticker and attach it to that and add like a clear coat. So this is what it will look like once it is mounted in the handle. I would say that it's like, it's a really good place to go to have like professional connections with like your professors and advisors and everything because there are fewer students but that's not necessarily a bad thing like you get more opportunities to do things that you're interested in or to like try different things so it's re a really good place for like personal growth and just to be able to find out what you like and like test different things I wouldn't have had like half as many opportunities as I have had from coming here 